Hi, it's John Langley. Welcome to Tech Talk. This is episode two. This week we're going to look at putting in a Google Slideshow photo show into your website. A lot of teachers have asked, how do I make a nice collection of photos on my website for my students? Instead of having a big old long list of photos on your page, a real snazzy, nice, easy, simple way to do this is to create a photo show using Google Slides. And we just basically make a slideshow. And when we put it into our website, we set it to loop. And it just keeps going. And it looks great. Parents love it. Um, pretty basic, simple to do. And this is how we do it. All right, we're going to start off just like we did last time. You can be in Gmail to start off, or you can be in Google and logged in. Just make sure you're logged in. Hit that app grid. And to start off, we're going to go ahead and start in Drive. And remember last time we created a, a shared folder to work in. Okay, if you have that shared folder, go ahead and click into it. If you didn't, that's fine. We can go ahead and we can make sure that we share the, the slides, Google Slides, so it is shared. Okay. We're going to go to New and go to Slides. And remember, we have a shared folder already, so it's going to create the Google Slides as shared to the public. So when we put it in our website, people can actually view it. First thing that pops up with slides is it asks us to pick a theme. I'm going to pick a dark theme. That way if I have a vertical photo instead of a horizontal one, it's on a black background and it'll look kind of nice. Next thing I'm going to do is name my slide. So I simply click up on the top left where it says Untitled Presentation and I just give it a name. Okay, I can name it by my class or whatever I want to do there. And next I'm going to insert some photos. Now there's a couple different ways I can do it. I can go up to insert an image or I can click on the image icon in my toolbar. It does the exact same thing. So after I click that, I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue. I already have a photo album picked out that I'm going to grab some photos from. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a vertical photo to start us off. And you're going to notice it pops it in as it all lined up nice and pretty. There we go. And if we do need to make an adjustment, if it's these adjustments, go from the corners. If you go from the corners, it stays proportional. If I go from the sides, top or bottom, it gets all wonky and out of shape. So make sure you do any resizing from a corner. That way it'll stay to scale. Okay, next thing I need to do is add another slide. So Common Sense tells me I hit the slide button, which is right, and I hit new slide. Okay, once I have a new slide, I then hit the image button again, and I can pick one of my other pictures. You can either double click it or single click it and then hit open. It works either way. Okay, and uh, I have some kind of high quality photos here I'm popping in, so they take a little bit to upload, but um, they're doing fine. Now, keep in mind, if you're uploading photos of students, make sure you check into the office. Make sure that the parents at registration said, okay, you can put my kids' pictures on the website for classroom purposes and stuff like that. There was that permissions box they had to do at registration. So double check that. Um, the office will be looking through and giving you probably a list of names of anybody who didn't um, have permissions. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Slide, new slide. And then I'm going to go to image and pick out a picture. Now, anytime I'm um, working with adding new photos, after I put this slideshow on my website, I don't have to make any edits from the website. I just go back to my Google Slides and I add or delete pictures from the slideshow. And it will automatically change on the, on the website that I'm going to put it on. Okay, so we have some pictures in there. Um, the average that people usually put on there is 15 to 20, so somewhere in that range. You can put more, you can put less. It's totally up to you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open up my sites. So if I click back, I still have my Google Drive folder open. It has my app grid on it, and I'm just going down to hit sites. Okay, open my site, and I'm going to go to the Mr. Langley's classroom. Okay. Now, last week we put a photo on there. This time I'm going to put the slideshow in there, so I'll pop it in. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit. And you can see where the photo is. And I'm gonna put the slideshow on the side. So I'm gonna change my layout to two column simple. Now I have this box over here to work with. So I click on the second box. Here's the easy part. Insert. I'm going to slide over to drive. And then I'm going to slide down to presentation. Okay, so all of your presentations are going to show up there. Website photos is the one I just did. I'm going to click on it. And I have options for size. I'm going to go ahead and make it medium. You kind of see what it is. And I highly recommend checking the box that says start slideshow as soon as the player loads. And restart slideshow after the last slide. Okay. It's kind of nice. I can put uh, the title and show up on there in the border. If you want to rename it something else, um, classroom photos or whatever you want to do, then you can do that. So... We'll do that and I'm going to hit save now it puts in a gadget box if I ever want to go back and change my settings I can hit that settings wheel and make it a different size or change something up and okay. once I hit save then it's going to load it in anybody who goes to my page now is going to see the slideshow and it's going to start up I only have three pictures in there but it's going to rotate so it's kind of clear okay so that's the basics of it and again, if I want to make any adjustments, I make my adjustments from the Google Slides presentation. So if I add new slides, new photos, when a parent goes back to my website, those will be automatically uh, there when they refresh and reload the page. So simple as that. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you catch me one-on-one -on -one and we'll go through it.